The VLOOKUP function is one of the most useful functions in Excel because if in your workbook you have a huge list of data, like here I have a lot of VIN numbers, so that's cars, and I have more than 50,000 rows, that's huge. So instead of trying to copy paste for each VIN the information, what I can do here is to build a VLOOKUP function and in function of the VIN, I am able to return all the other information. So as you can see here, if I copy paste in value, automatically the data has changed and I'm referring to all this information in function of this VIN. In fact, the function VLOOKUP is just like in a database. You collect information in function of a key or an ID. How does a function VLOOKUP work? It's very simple and a little girl can explain you that. So the best way to explain you how the function VLOOKUP works is to ask to this little girl different questions. First one, what is the price of grapes? And the little girl says 4.6 and she's right. We have here the grapes and the price is 4.6. Very easy. Second question, where the strawberries come from? The strawberries come from Spain. So now we have the strawberries and the country here, it's Spain. Okay, I agree. This example looks very basic, very simple. But it's exactly like that that the function VLOOKUP works, really. Let's see in detail how does it work. So we have our table of reference where we have all our fruits. We are looking for grapes, so we scan and we find the grapes, great. So now we can select the row where we have all the information referring to the grapes. What do we want? We want the price. The price is in third column. So the intersection of the price and the grapes return the information that I want, the price. You have understood the logic? So now you can work perfectly with the function VLOOKUP. Let's return to Excel. So how I can build my function VLOOKUP to return the warranty date in function of the VIN here? Well, let's start to write the function. And you press tab to autofill the name of your function. For the first time, we can open the dialog box here with all the parameters. And as you can notice, the function expects four parameters. The first one, it's exactly like in the previous example with the fruit. It's just one item, the one you're looking for. So the little girl was looking for grapes or strawberries, and here we are looking for one car, one VIN, this one, only one value here. After, you have to select the table where you have all your information. And what is important is to notice that the first column of your selection must contain what you are looking for, okay? So here, because the range of data is huge, I have to use the shortcut, Control shift down to reach the last row and Control shift right to reach the last column. And very important, you have to lock the reference with the key function F4, like this. Next, here we have colon index number. What is it? In fact, you have to give a number that corresponding to the colon number the one you want to return. So here we want to return the warranty date and it's the second column of all selection. I repeat, it's a second column in all selection. So here I say it's two. And range lookup, this parameter is very important. You have only two value, zero, exact match, or one approximate match. Most of the time you have to put zero, but by default, the function expect one. This is why it's very important to always say zero. So or false, so that's exact match. You can see here, find an exact match equal false. Okay, and you have here the value here. So the VIN number is here and the warranty date is here. So now if I take another VIN and I pay special here on value, you can see that automatically the warranty date has changed. Now it's this warranty date corresponding to this VIN. Okay, so now very easy. I'm just going to copy this formula 
for the other cell and just change the column number. So I copy this formula with a right click and with a right click I have option fill without formatting. <laughs> That's great. And I have NA everywhere. NA means not applicable or not available. That means the function hasn't found what we are looking for. But don't worry, it's easy to find the problem. So when I call the parameter of my function, what I have, okay, in red I have my reference table, that's perfect, and I look for J6. Ah, uh, no, I look J5. So I just have to change here this information. But car number, what is that? Mm, it looks like a date if I change. Yes, it is still a date, it's not good. So what is it? In fact, I forgot to change the index colon of my research. Here, if I want to have the car model, it's the colon C or the third colon in my selection. So here I have to put three. And now it works. I have returned for this VIN, the car model, and so on for the rest. Okay, so now if I take this VIN, yeah, it works perfectly. But of course, it's much better to use VLOOKUP when you have to extract a lot of information, like in this example. So here, I took some random information and I took the VIN in function of this rows number. So what I want is to fill all these documents with my function VLOOKUP. So once again, VLOOKUP, what I'm looking for, I look for this information, where in my table array, control shift down, control shift right, F4. Now the warranty date, it's my second colon, and I finish by zero false like this but one thing if I want to stay always focused on my colon B where I have my VIN I have to put a dollar just before the B only not before the two like that when I'm going to copyright I will always stay focused on the colon B so now if I copy control C for the rest of my document you can see that it works well. It works. I always have the warranty date. What I have to do here is to change the value date fixing its fifth colon in my selection. And what is the amount? It's on colon six. You see, if I return here, the fixing date it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth colon, and the amount of the expense, it's colon number six. Exactly what I have in my parameter here. But one thing is very important with the function VLOOKUP, it's to have a unique value in the colon where you want to research something. For instance, here, I want to make a selection on the name. So if I want to find the company linked to Robinson, I create my function VLOOKUP, and I want to find what this name, where, in this document. And this document is a table, so it's very convenient for me. So instead of selecting A2 till I don't know, I just have to select my table like this. And you can see here, automatically, I don't have the reference, but the name of my table, which is easier for me to select. So what I want to select is a company. Company name is the seventh colon, and always false zero for exact match. And the company is Basco. Okay, it works because Robinson Angela works in this company. But look here, I have Robinson Jacqueline and she works in another company. So that's very important. If you have duplicates in your research, the function VLOOKUP always stops the first time it finds exactly what you are looking for. So it's very important when you work with this function to be sure that you have no duplicates in the first column of your selection in your table reference. Okay, so 
I have present how to work with a function VLOOKUP. Now it's time also to see how you can correct this function because we have seen different problems with the NA in this video, but there is a lot of other reasons why you can have NA. And this is in the next video.